Hey, what's up everyone? This is Joe. Welcome to another How To Origami tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the Origami Lucky Star. So one thing I really like about this traditional origami model is that they're super easy to make and in fact they're so easy and quick that you can go ahead and just make a whole ton of them all at once. And um, not only that, once you have an understanding of how to make these things, you can make them in pretty much any size you want. Um, they're really customizable and that's, that's really cool. So we have this size and then you can even go, it isn't even that hard to um, start making them in the uh, smaller sizes as well and if you get really good you can get down to uh, ones as small as this. So they're really cool, um, fun things to make. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with our tutorial. So another nice thing about this design is that you only need a long, narrow strip of paper to make this. So you can make it out of scrap paper, things that like maybe you don't want to use anymore. So that's really nice, you don't have to um, waste origami paper for it if you don't want to. Um, in this case, I am going to show you how to make it from origami paper just so that um, if you are unsure what size of the strip you should have, uh, this will clarify that. It doesn't really matter, so um, something, a size that does work is 1 16th of a square. So for example, I'm going to fold this in half and divide it equally 16 or divide it equally into 16 segments. Alright, so now I've divided my square into 16 equal sections. And again, this doesn't really matter. All you need is a long, narrow strip of paper. This is just how I'm making it. And um, if you want to be sure that you're going to make one that works for your first try, I recommend doing this. However, just uh, cutting off a nice size strip of paper will do fine. Alright, so I'm just going to rip off one of these little strips. Okay, and this is all we're going to need, so I'm going to set this off to the side. This is all you need, so again, however you want to find a long, narrow strip of paper, that'll work fine. This is what I'm going to use and that's how I got it, just in case you wanted to know. Alright, so once you have your narrow strip, what you're going to do is you're going to tie a basic knot into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop and then I'm going to pull the short end through the loop. So we want to have a knot like towards the end of the paper. So don't do it in the middle. Try and keep it as far to the end as you can. So anyway, we're going to form a loop and pull the short end through that loop. Now, what you'll notice is that as I slowly pull it tighter from the long end, as I slowly pull it tighter, um, this knot will form a pentagon, pentagon shape. So you can kind of see it starting to form here. It's just starting to form. So basically, as I'm tightening it, I'm pressing down, pressing it flat, so that I can make sure that this pentagon is taking shape. So I'm gonna just keep pulling until it becomes this shape. All right, so now it's tied. You don't want it to crumple. If you pull it too much, it's gonna crumple in like this and do all sorts of weird things. You want it to be able to stay flat. So in other words, as I'm pulling it down, just pinching it here. And now you can see the pentagon here. So in other words, we have a we have a side going on right here. All right, we have a side here, we have a side here, we have a side here. And our fifth side, our fifth side is right here, formed between these two points. All right, see that? All right, that's important to know. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this little tab because this isn't something we wanna keep. So I'm just gonna tuck this along, um, tuck this back behind the thing, uh, folding along that side of the pentagon right there. So perfect, now we have this pentagon on the end of a string. This is exactly what we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna fold over, all right? 
And you'll notice as I fold over along that line, what happens is that this edge, this edge of the paper, lines up with this edge of the pentagon right here. So let me demonstrate that one more time. Why is my camera not focusing? I apologize, this is weird. All right, so I'm gonna fold over along that line and as you'll see, these edges will line up. If they don't line up perfectly, just make them line up and then crease it, all right? Now I'll flip it over and you'll see the same thing happening. However, this time when you fold over the line, the top edge is gonna line with the top edge of the pentagon, you see that? So it's gonna alternate every time you wrap it around, all right? So once you've done that, flip it over, and then repeat. And you're basically just gonna keep wrapping it around and around every single time. Just keep going until you have just a little stub left over. All right, so now that we have this little stubby thing left over, you'll notice that there's a pocket right here and I'll bring it closer and draw it. So you see we have these, uh, these edges of the paper right here, these kind of edges that make this little V right there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this tab underneath both of those. So uh, you might need a pencil or your fingers to lift up on those tabs, kind of open it up, and then you're gonna stick this inside, all right? Just gotta kind of work corners in and once you get it in just roll it and tuck it and now we have a little pentagon all right and this is what the star is going to form from now i also wanted to mention that sometimes you're wrapping this around and then you fold over and you realize a little bit sticks off and it's not enough that you can go again and stick this inside the, the little flap there um, but it's too much to stick into this one so the simple, quick and easy solution is to just tear the end off of it, all right? So we're just gonna take that tab and tear it off. This doesn't happen every time, but sometimes it does happen, and I just wanted to put that in there just in case this happened to you guys and you got confused. So just tear off a little bit, and now it should be able to, um, it won't stick over the edge. Oops, it won't stick over the edge, so now when you go to um, stick it in the little pocket over here, it should, fit all the way and yep it does so now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, kind of inflate it almost so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingers and my fingernails and just pinch slightly at each vertex all right and it should cause the sides to press in like this okay if it crumples on either side then it's not a good thing you want this you want the uh, the star to kind of inflate. So you can see that it's already opening up just from one side. And I'm gonna do one side at a time, just kind of pinching in on each vertex. All right, and then on the edge, just pressing in. Okay, and I'm gonna go all around the star. All right, and that's pretty much it. I mean, just adjust little things if you want it to be perfect, but doesn't really take much. You can see that this is a star and it's not a bad one at that. I mean, this is pretty nice. So um, yeah, the, anyway, that's the uh, lucky star and I can't think of a better way to start off the new year than to make a lucky star and hope for a good year. Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and liking. If you like this video, let me know that by giving me a thumbs up and be sure to click the bell as well to get notifications every time I make a new video. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next tutorial.